Welcome back everyone to Let's Play Rule Race 2 as Austria-Hungary, episode number 35, which I know exactly because I checked. So we, at the very end of the last episode, we started to notice some of our ships going obsolete. It's only this one, just the light carrier. There are some Corvettes, which are a little bit aging, a little bit old, or in need of a refit. I'm not sure how the game does it nowadays. Recently, does it automatically scrap them? Will, will it automatically scrap them if you're at war? I don't know. I, I kind of hope not, but I'm not tracking how many. We can just maybe... 35. We have 35 ships, so let's see if that's how many we have <laughs> a little bit from now. Oh, we have the 1923 Agathas, and these are very old. Definitely in need of a refit, but also they're really good. I mean, they're they're decent ships. We can make a better Corvette now that we have K guns. But I mean, these are uh, they're pretty good. Um, that might be something we want to do with our money because again, we're just waiting for a torpedo protection. It's kind of strange. I mean, I wish that there was a way. So uh, it's just it's like a strange thing. It like the system that that Frederick, a single developer, has come up with is is really impressive. Uh, it just has a lot of holes in it, like, um, I don't know, like, if you were to say, hey, our ships are only being sunk from torpedoes, let's just take a look. Sunk by, uh, the Fjordin was sunk by, uh, I, I think this was sunk by torpedoes. I mean, that we know if they were sunk in a battle, that they were sunk in a battle by torpedoes. There's no other way it could work. Uh, sunk by torpedoes, sunk by torpedo. Uh, the Nike was, I think, sunk by torpedoes, but I'm not sure. So this might be one question mark. And then, okay, so every capital ship that we've lost has been due to a torpedoes. You would think that there would be some way of feeding back to your researchers, hey, I know that other people have developed or continue to develop or improve upon uh, torpedo defense. Can we please elevate this to like an ultra high level of investment? The only reason I'm losing capital ships is due to torpedoes, which is fine. I mean, we can think about taking other steps to um, adjust our battle force accordingly, like decrease the armor or something. Maybe we have too much armor. But that wouldn't really solve the problem that they can still be sunk by torpedoes. Is there a way of giving us better protection against torpedoes? Or maybe we have to think about it from a tactic standpoint. Unfortunately, the, <laughs> the, the areas that our ships are sunk in are the ones that are outside more or less of our ability to influence. Sunk by torpedoes, um, this is a, you know, it's a random event. We can't really adjust the convoy escorts or whatever. Um, we can increase the number of destroyers on active fleet. That's the only thing I, I, I think that that would directly impact the ability for our ships to be sunk by submarines. It's still random. It can still happen, but, and you know, that's just like in real life. Uh, otherwise we can try to mitigate air. Yeah. Air is not easy to mitigate. So I don't know how to deal with that because, you know, we don't choose. Yeah, um, there's some gaps in it. It's still a very good game, obviously. We play the hell out of it, but. Okay, Bombardment. Um, Cyprus. Yes. Oh. Okay, good. Gradual rate of fire improvement, which is good. Our new medium, new medium bomber is ready to go. The Austria herself has been sunk. I don't know why the Corvette was bearing that name, but there it is. Doesn't look like a healthy... Is that a healthy uh, angle for a submarine to be at? <laughs> Doesn't look like it. Hey, so, uh, several people have mentioned, I think, okay, it might have been the same person mentioning multiple times, but you might have to reset your submarine warfare. It resets on save sometimes. So we'll go to prize rules. I, I don't know how this is reset just by clicking, clicking. Could be just like that. What I'm gonna do is go for, to prize rules for just one month and then I'll switch it back to unrestricted after that, which I'm pretty sure does mitigate this. It's actually something I, I vaguely remember having heard before too. So that's why I do lend it some credence. Like I do, I do think that might be a bug, a real bug. 
no way of testing it other than the fact that we're not sinking like any ships right now. Uh, we're no longer blockaded. Uh, that's fantastic. I always, I was always hoping to see that there would be a break the blockade type battle. Um, at some point, you you know you can kind of like push your ships out if you have a comparable number of ships. I mean, the blockade mechanic is a little bit weak. I've talked about this a thousand times. So I'll just highlight, just summarize. If you have, let's say, like I think it's ten percent more uh, was the at least originally the blockade mechanic. So if you had eleven battleships and they only had ten, you would blockade them. But what's to say those ten battleships don't just ride out trying to challenge your eleven battleships? Like if you then run away, then they've broken the blockade. Like okay, then now our ships have left that area because we chose not to confront them. We didn't hold the blockade. Now the merchant ships can go through that hole. I don't know. I mean that's a it's a very <laughs> painting with a very broad brush, uh, but I mean, you get the idea. Okay, so let's move on. Prize rules, is this our one prize rules? Prize rules it is. Cruiser action near Iceland, accept this. Huh, it's just a very strange situation where nobody accepts anybody's battles, and that's okay. <laughs> we would uh, we would decline theirs in our if we were in their shoes as well. Okay, so we got another Nike class out, which is fantastic. Um, this is really interesting. So our victory point situation is favorable. Not like as great as it has been in the past, but the enemy has sent out feelers through neutral nations about a negotiated peace without border changes or reparations. The Kaiser wants to know your opinion. Our unless unrest level is building, but I feel like we can go on to win this war. So let's, let's push on. That's a pretty aggressive thing considering we're war at war with three nations, but if one of them can collapse, that would be great. Okay, lots of, yeah, crap like this. Uh, five months for hitting a mine in the Mediterranean. Um, yeah, bad stuff happening here and there. Just to kind of spite me for not having, <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's to spite me for not having accepted the peace, but that's okay. Up to seven Wow, this is actually, we're getting to the point where we're going to need to do something with this money. Um, but that's, okay, what was I going to do? Oh, switch back to unrestricted. But what was the, I didn't see. What was the convoy summary? Well, anyways, it only matters coming, I mean, with this next turn. So, uh, there she is, the newest one. She's working up. We still have two solid ones in Northern Europe. We have now two solid on active fleet, as soon as she's done working up. And one on tree protection. I think this is all good. So let's just continue to push on. Convoy defense. Uh, this is right outside of our air base. And since Great Britain is not involved, I will accept this. I don't like convoy defenses, but okay, even better. Okay. We're baffled by aircraft carrying airships. We don't care about that. Improved arrestor wires. We do like that. Oh, they're close to mastering it. Uh, an improved model of our dive bomber, which which is good. It's good to have any improvements. Better range, it looks like. Significantly better range, which I guess it only matters on the heavy, since what, when are we ever going to send dive bombers out without heavy bombs? It's only... Uh, oh, this has really good reliability, too, so that's, that's good. Okay. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Okay, so we lost... <laughs> you know... Our and Jesus giveth, our and Jesus taketh away. Um, I don't know what our ships are doing in Northern Europe. It's believable, is it believable that they could be mining like Iceland? Probably not Iceland, that'd be really hard to go mine. Um, probably parts around Great Britain, although Great Britain might not take kindly to that. I don't know, it's, it's, I'm sure it's possible. Okay, so Northern Europe, we need to send somebody else up, so let's just send you onto active fleet, move you to Northern Europe. We want two ships up there, so good news is it does not count as victory points against you that we lost that one. And this is a cruiser action that we do want to accept, they decline. Okay, we got the arrestor stuff. Our submarine has sunk a corvette. They've sunk a destroyer, um, an AMC has hit a mine, a destroyer has hit a mine. Yeah, so we're on unrestricted, and this is just how things are going for us. They are not really working. 
I'm not really sure what's going on. I, I guess it's just they have so much trade protection, perhaps. We would need a lot more submarines. I don't know. Well, we're going to have fun rebuilding the Navy after this one. God help us if we just need torpedo protection now. We might actually have to start designing a new heavy cruiser because we're starting to take serious losses. Another question is, what do we do with the Indicas? They were fantastic, have been fantastic since their since their um, since the beginning of their service. However, now it's starting to get to the point where 25 knots might not be good enough. I mean, it is. It, I I would in the future I'm going to design at this speed again. 25 is perfect. I don't even know what I just closed, but. Was that a battle pop-up? I guess I declined it. Um, no, only the Navy can win this war. Go to hell, army. <gasps> oh my gosh, what the hell? Why did it take so long? Oh my gosh, and why is it that we only got Torpedo Defense 3? At this point, unless they've changed the way the tech works, Torpedo Defense 4 would... I mean, you used to get Torpedo Defense 4, Granted on 100% technology rate, but in Rule the Waves 1, which means you got it before 1925, you probably got it around 1920. Why is it that we're so slow here? I don't know. But sometimes you wouldn't, I guess. Maybe on Austria-Hungary, if you did that in Rule the Waves 1, maybe you wouldn't get it. Okay, an improved fighter, which is good. Um, firepower 3, that's not bad. I mean, Firepower 3 or 4, that's what we'd kind of expect. Ooh, look at that heavy bomb from 100 to 130 pounds. Woo! Uh, maximum speed is much more important. Increase in range is mediocre. Toughness by one. I mean, it's just it's a nice, steady improvement across the board. A float plane. That is worse, except for in combat, firepower, maneuverability, and toughness. That's interesting. Now, this is poor reliability, so this has such low range, I can't accept it. Okay, wow, it's a, it's a war of attrition here. Oh, okay, we've got up to eight enemy merchants. Unrest is only five, so I think we can actually hold down the fort and wait for one of them to, like, cry for mercy. <laughs> it's a... it's a, If I had known this war was going to go this long, I would have built, like, a crap ton of additional coastal submarines. And these don't take that long. I wonder if this is the next move for us. I don't want it to be, but... Okay, let's get 12 coastal submarines. And then let's also go ahead and get 12 medium submarines. And those will take uh, 14 months, 16 months. I don't think we'll still be at war during that time, but that's fine. Okay, quality zero 17 inch guns. Now I do want to get up to quality one 17 inch guns, but this probably, I mean, Okay, so first of all, let's deal with the flying boats, but then let's go back to naval gun quality, if I can remember. Wow. Um, are any of these better? Um, all of these are better. They are so much better. Holy crap, they're so much better. Well, this is what happens, five years. I was expecting this kind of increase in technology or improvement of stats um, on my float plane scouts. If you remember, we weren't, we weren't really having those. Now, the downside is we will lose some speed here maximum speed only that is just bizarre that this one had such a low cruise speed for such a high max speed at least if i look at the values for um the three new ones their max speed and cruise speed is much more closely related i guess that probably has to do with bomb load but range was oh my gosh these are just these are wow some good we have some good options to choose from here i think that this one i'm highlighting is the best now, I've made this mistake before, so let me double check. This one has better firepower, but lower range, lower cruise speed. This one has the best max speed, the best cruise speed, the best range across the board. The only area it is not the best in is just firepower is three instead of four, but we don't care that much. So this is the best one. All right, still no activity with our submarines. They must be having a really hard time, despite having three nations to choose from to sink. <laughs> what is going on with these ships? Why is nobody... Surprised these submarines are having... I mean, the, the, like half the world... It's like World War II style, right? We have 
just convoys. Okay, well, to be fair, Germany and Russia don't need to use that many convoys. It'll be difficult for our convoys or our submarines to attack them. We'd be better off with like Great Britain, United States, but United States is there. We're expecting they would trade with Great, um, well, just with Europe. Anyway, it's fine. We, we're getting messages that they're kind of sick of things, so we're just going to wait for the capitulation. And all the while, ooh, all forward main armament. That's awesome. Victory point situation is still quite in our favor. So just keep on keeping on here. Let's put intel effort up to high against the US and even against Germany. We can get some intel there. Going to decline that one. Can accept this one and they decline and lots of casualties, but no victory points exchanged, so effectively nothing. Just a role playing message. Shell damage increase. Oh, we need to go to gun quality. God, what the? F What's going on here? Um, yeah, we could also get. I think it's also time for us to get more destroyers, which, never mind, they're coming up in two, three months, leave those on active fleet. Yeah, we are, we are, the, the Austro-Hungarian Navy is suffering some serious attrition right now. And I don't know what's the, it's okay. I actually, I just think that this is just has to be the way it is if we wanna win this war. I'm kind of gambling right now. Uh, taking a step back, Okay, first of all, let me bring up the research naval guns window so I don't forget. But now, um, taking a step back, what I'm what I'm kind of trying to do is sacrifice some of my ships. We're rolling the dice. We don't know which ships are going to be sunk because it's right now it's RNG, completely RNG, which ships are being sent out. And even though I'm the naval secretary, I don't have control. They just get sunk at, at random. That's, that's, I mean, I'm just talking about the game mechanic here, right? It's random. So we have active fleet destroyers that are somewhat preventing some of the just the submarine attacks. We have uh, trade protection and minesweepers that are trying to mitigate the mine stuff. Uh, otherwise, we're going to take some hits. But the chance of one of our ships, which are now basically all older, um, being sunk is kind of like it's like half good, half bad. One, I don't have to scrap it because it got sunk. So I would prefer not to lose ships like that. But if we're slowly bleeding off ships, we know that the only thing we really need to do is prevent from being blockaded. And then we can suffer through everything else. Just don't be blockaded and wait for the uh, other nations to succumb to our land forces or to the whatever you want to role play, but basically when they capitulate. That's our goal. Now, um, what we can see is we have quality one 15 inch guns and we have quality zero 17 inch guns. These are two very good options for choices. Um, I think that 15 inch quality one 15 inch guns are pretty good. I think that quality zero 17 inch guns are also really good. They do a lot of damage. So probably what we'll go for is once we have all forward guns, we'll do a torpedo protection three, or hopefully by then four. Um, three by three by three. So three, three, I mean, we'll do like a, a Nelson configuration, which is not everyone's favorite. Not, for example, maybe the most beautiful battleship in existence, but the Nelson slash Rodney. We'll go with that with 17 inch guns and I guess I could even try to do a quadruple for the forward most, maybe a 433. Um, and this will be a super heavy battleship that needs to be um, armed to the teeth with dual purpose guns, which means to do this, we also need um, five inch dual purpose guns. So let's go to research. Where are our dual purpose guns? I think it's this one. So what I need is this needs to go up to high and we need to start setting anything we can to low. So armor development, this was important. I mean, it kind of still is important. This is just one per, I mean, just 1%. So those are that um, we have improved director. So all we're really missing from this one, well, we are missing several things, actually fire control. Eventually you can get radar directed fire control. Turrets and gun mountings. I don't remember what we're looking at here. So we have improved elevation. We have improved quadruple turrets. I'm gonna put this one down to medium because I don't know. Actually, I might even put it down to low. I think we have like a lot of the stuff we want from this. I'm trying to think if that's the case. Is there something we're missing? Maybe like super firing. No, I think super firing is ship design. 
that we we're missing like superimposed turrets on CLs. So we'll leave that at high. AP projectiles, I mean, we'll leave this on low. So we kind of want to leave the lowest things on low. Like maybe, okay, that's not a, big, not a good example. But some of the lowest things on low and just let our, try to steal technology from other people. And it should be, I mean, eventually we're just being so bad at it that uh, we can put this back up to medium, I think. Uh, yeah, we'll leave amphibious operations on low. Machinery development, I think we were just getting a lot of technology from other people. So we'll do something like that. So what did I do? I was trying to emphasize AA guns and then keep fire, uh, sorry, fire, damage control, not fire control, but damage control to as high as it can be. Okay, that's not ever gonna happen. Nope, neither that. This is absolutely okay, and that's basically our way of getting points back. Now, I think they do accept the last one. No, they don't, okay. Oh, bummer. Oh, wow. Well, there it is, all four gun <laughs> firing guns. All right, I forgot recently to, look at that, 2-1 on unrestricted trade war. I, I, I'm like, it's bizarre. It's really kind of weird to see such low numbers on such high, like such an aggressive submarine warfare policy. Let's go to aircraft types before I forget and request a new aircraft. So this has to be obsoleted is just a joke compared to the new one. Uh, we have two medium bombers. Let's look at this. I mean, if I have two that are really close, that's usually the point where I'm like, well, it's time to get, oh yeah, one of them is poor and one of them is average. Now this is under the hood. We know this is actually a number. I don't know if it's graded zero to 10 still like, or, you know, to 20, whatever, 1 to 20, 1 to 10. I don't know. I don't know what the actual numbers are, but this is a number under the hood. And this could be like number three, and this could be number four, or this could be like one, and this could be six. We don't know how different they are. What I do know is a good torpedo bomber is good. I'm happy with that. 145 range, so that's reasonable. This is our oldest design now, the torpedo bomber. It's pretty good though. Well, I guess the range is a bit low compared. I mean, we're starting to see ranges over 400 for the flying boats, which also means we should be seeing comparable ranges with our medium bombers. So maybe that's huh, maybe that's the thing we need to improve next. Um, Float plane scouts have just have like continuously lagged behind. I think that that's what we'll go with next. Going with float plane scouts. Didn't I ask for a float plane scout? Oh, maybe that's the reason why it sucks so much with reliability. So I do want range and then reliability. How about that? Can you do that for me? Let's see if that works out. Okay, so unrestricted and just prepare to suffer losses. Decline that. All right, we're getting destroyers. Okay, good, we're just, we're grinding onward. Um, these guys are working up. I want to put them on active fleet right away. I don't know if it makes a difference, but I would want them to immediately start protecting our fleets from torpedoes. Okay, we're at the point where I am going to have to build something, which is good. Take a break from this end turn. I don't know. It's not boring because it's there's interesting stuff which is happening, but this like onslaught of end turn when nothing's really happening. Uh, I could like theory craft the battleship. I just really, I really want torpedo protection four before we get it, especially because torpedo protection two to three is pretty expensive, but three to four is not that much more expensive. Anyway, they've designed already kind of what I'm thinking of, but I think we'll go with a four three three. Just one extra. Whoa, look at this Edelweiss. Huh. Maybe I don't even remember. I guess we have a ship list of battleships <laughs> of user. Sorry, like supporter submitted names that I should be looking at. And uh, what's our dock size? 50,000, 50,000, 5,500. So we can go bigger. And yeah, I think that it'd be, no, we're not gonna get that much. So this only takes like, what is this? Like two, this is like 450 to get. That is like 500 to get, so that's not bad. And that's like 600. So I guess we can go up to 26. This is like the break even or like, you know, the uh, it's, it's getting more cost prohibitive to increase the speed from here. So 26, it's not quite fast enough to be a fast battleship, unfortunately. You know, I might take the extra 500 even. Speed of 25 is pretty good, but ah, it's not, it's, 
can could we get yeah unfortunately 27 28 is a huge jump so this is 600 but this one is 900 so 28 is really good because that's the point where we get oh wow unit machinery is maybe we don't need <laughs> unit machinery this will get it put into battles with the fast the fast battleship stuff um, we also don't have dual purpose five inch guns, which is kind of a deal breaker. So let's go over and design. We do have a lot of destroyers. I guess I haven't been getting my older destroyers killed as quickly as I normally do. Could probably change that just by throwing them into the Northern Europe. Okay, you guys are short range, everyone's short range. We're cramped accommodations, so they all, only the rashers is fit for service in Northern uh, in Northern Europe. And hey, we only have two of those left. It's funny, the meta niches are all dead. I think we will move these up. No, we might need the points to prevent blockade. Wow, there's like no enemy ships here. Germany is the only fleet. There's no Russian or American ships here. What the heck is going on? The US has like basically withdrawn from the war. They have gone home. <laughs> like, eh, whatever. <laughs> Nobody's gonna win this anyway. Just let Germany and Russia, I mean, hey, that's what I would do if I was the US. If this was like Hearts of Iron or, you know, Civilization, any of those kind of grand strategy games. That's not my war. I'll participate for like ally favor points, but I'm not sending, I mean, I, if I were them, I would be sending my fleet over there because I I would think I could, I could defeat the Austro-Hungarian Navy, but there's a role-playing sense where you can say, like, maybe they wouldn't want to. But then what, I mean, I don't know, how are they going to ask for anything? I guess we're winning the war, so it's not really about asking for anything. It's about uh, mitigating the stuff Austro-Hungarians can take. Um, now, all that was to say, yeah, I'm designing a new ship. So to a pre Defense 3, I don't think I need that for a heavy cruiser. So this goes back to the idea of maybe a, a new heavy cruiser would be good. And we saw that the old one was pretty good already. I like the 9-inch guns. I like this configuration. Um, I like the... Well, I would prefer 4-inch guns, but we can do this and then just get as many on as possible. Okay, that's fine. So we just need topside weight. That's doable. And then get this up to that. Good, and we do want torpedoes in this case. I just want, I, did I already test this? Let me pretend to do a pair of two here. Um, crap, let me clear that. So this goes up to 10, sorry, okay, 63. So 63 goes to 57, or 63 goes to 57, would be six. Yeah, so it is, um, okay, so that doesn't make sense. So that's six per, I actually need to add one more set here. Okay, so this is 45. What if I do instead, I imagine that this will not be as expensive, but 51. Okay, cool, this is cool. So it is only three per per mount, which means having quadruple, like what the hell is going on with my research? We don't have quadruple torpedoes yet. We have torpedo technology as an advantage. We have it on high research and yet, We have not discovered, oh God, where is, what is it? Is it this? Yeah, and you are on low. Okay, well then that's, there's an explanation at least. Torpedoes are really good. I mean, they, I don't even know if they are. So this is good. I mean, from the perspective that I would expect our torpedoes to be as good as anybody in the in the world's, um, then I know at least my torpedo range is the enemy's torpedo range or less. I mean, or more, so the enemy's range is less. <laughs> yeah. Said that wrong for a second. 
But let's get this one up to high and hopefully, I mean, hey, look, Great Britain, I would love to get some technology. Actually, you're, you've already helped us a whole bunch though, so let's let them know. Yes. Okay. Quality one 10 inch guns. Okay, now we have a new, I forgot I was supposed to design something there. Yeah. Three, yeah, it's just bizarre. Hmm. So what will we need to design? Heavy cruiser. Now we can do it with 10 inch guns, <laughs> which might be good. Okay, and then back to square one, doing all this all over again. All right, no, what the heck is going on there? No. Oh yeah, I know, I wanted the, <laughs> I wanted something more than just triple mounts. I, I don't think I need that many torpedoes, honestly. Mainly what I need is, hey, maybe I'll put them in a different location, not DE, but FG. Um, what I really want is just something which you can finish them off or in like a pickle of a situation launch for some other reason. Um, 16,000 is okay for me. I'd like deck of two, thank you. Conning tower, I would like that to be not significant. We want... Could just choose one for the secondaries. It's a little bit weird, but do we want... I think we don't want them armored at all. No, we want them armored. Okay. Had to think about it. I mean, it's pretty expensive. So 970, 1270 basically. It's a 300, pound, uh, 300 ton difference. I, I mean, if they were five inch guns, I would definitely want them armored. But anyways, we're gonna take this off, reduce those, we don't want those. Okay, 59 is looking pretty good. We have plenty of weight and everything remaining to do this. 743. I mean, you can see that how, how much improvement deck hits man it's, it's pretty light to increase the deck armor ah man i really like this heavy cruiser oh man oh man oh man oh man so it's got the two flow planes still it's got a ton of i mean what oh, wow dude, we're gonna be able to take down the tonnage even oh no we aren't oh yes we are so look at the, look at this crazy this is madness 1400 do this yeah okay it drops by 300 Drops by, eh, what was that, like 200? Drops by like 600. <laughs> so going from two to three is expensive. The biggest jump, f I mean, the biggest jump is from two to three, I think, but uh, three to four is very small, which is why getting torpedo defense four is, is important. Um, one thing I could do is make this like 32 knots. Let's see, how would this be? Yeah, no, that doesn't make sense. I was gonna say, I can make it 32 knots and then bulge it and then, <laughs> It'll be back down to 29 knots, but it'll have better torpedo protection. No, I don't think it will do that in this case. I actually have to look at, I wonder if I can grab it here. I think I can do this. Yeah. So we had five and a half, two and a half, six, two, three. Five and a half. We'll do that. Could probably even do six. Okay. Oh, catapults. Pod water tubes not researched, dang it. Okay, well that explains that. Now, do we have catapults? Let me know. Oh, we do. Okay, cool, wow. This is, I mean, you know, it's kind of coming together here, isn't it? We can actually decrease the this is kind of nuts, 15,500, I guess. What does that do to this? 77, 79, not bad. So this is doable. Oh, unit machinery, almost missed that. We do want that on something which absolutely needs to get away. Man, I have to say I'm very happy with this. And I know that we have um, 
the AA directors, which does influence the effectiveness of medium AA, if I'm not mistaken. So I kind of want to get that up first and then do the rest on this. 11.15.4, this looks good. We're at 90. We can increase the ammunition. Oh my gosh, we need to increase the ammunition. Okay, we might have to increase this <laughs> just because the ammunition is so bad. We're just gonna end up, okay, that was a big jump. Okay, let's leave it at 15.9. Okay, good, so 145, that's acceptable. Um, we can drop this and increase this by two or drop this and increase this by one, which I'll do. What is left to do? I mean, okay, look at you, you really got to twist my arm, but I guess, <laughs> nope, never mind, no con tower armor. It goes over the weight limit. So we're actually going to be able to launch both of these simultaneously, which is a little bit unnecessary. What is the, I don't know, what is it, like 10 minutes, 20 minutes? Can we recover them faster with the uh, catap? I mean, now you have to slow down and recover them anyway, right? Yeah, we can launch both of them at the same time. Can it? Can we do like an asymmetric configuration? <laughs> no. You know, obviously in real life you could, but you just would move some stuff under the hood to make it so that that would work. But I could just put it up on the top. Um, I just don't know. I really don't know whether or not we need both think does it matter what's the difference if I get 20 weight back what do I really gonna what what am I gonna do with that I think we'll just go with it okay less torpedo protection but it's at two this is at 15,900 I think this is a great ship and look at we the Purgato let me check though there are some ship submissions that I should check over and see uh, what the supporters have recommended for even like battle cruisers this is basically a battle cruiser I mean it's a heavy cruiser but 10 inch guns, I mean, this is a, uh, the World War II heavy cruisers, if I'm not, if I remember correctly, most of them were eight inch guns. So this is a 10 inch gun, it's, it's gonna pack a, quite a punch. So anyways, let me, let me check the names. Well, we're gonna take the Winged Hussar, which is a pretty cool name, by the way. Uh, this was supposed to be a fast battleship or a battle cruiser, but um, we have a kind of a queue for battleships. So I'm gonna put it in as a heavy, excuse me, as a heavy cruiser. And with 10 weight remaining, time running out in this episode, <laughs> I don't know if there's anything I'm missing. I am like a huge fan of this design so far. So I think we'll just go ahead and, uh, oh, oh, I see. Belt and turret are the same, which is not good. Okay, good. Conning tower of two inches. Everything is perfect. That's what I wanted. So, um, there we go. I'll save this design and uh, we'll wait for it to come back. Well, I think that that's gonna conclude this episode as well because I just suddenly have run out of time or maybe I will continue it in a little bit, but maybe not, I don't know, we'll see. If not, I will catch you back for the next episode. Until then, stay safe, take care.